Hello everybody. Um, today I thought I would share um, a few techniques I use when I am painting bricks. So I'm going to use a chimney shape to um, show you how I draw the different bricks. So first of all, here's our first chimney. So I'm going to paint the background in a neutral colour. This colour is titanium buff. So I'm just going to paint over the whole the whole of the background of this chimney. Can you see the colour there? It's very pale. I'll maybe make it a little bit darker just so as you can see it. There we go. And I I'll, might as well go up and paint the little um, chimney pots as well just now. And you'll see what we'll do with that in a minute. I should have said this is a Da Vinci Petite Gris Pour brush I'm using for that bit, but for the actual bricks I'm going to use a different type of brush, I'll show you that just now. So now I'm going to take my flat brush, you can see how flat the end is there, and I am going to paint bricks directly on to the chimney, like so. Okay, so the pale colour in the background is the pale grout and then we're just painting the darker bricks onto the chimney, like that. So these bricks are quite small on this chimney. You could just use a larger um, flat brush to make the bricks larger. To give the chimney pots some shadow. I'm using a mix of Burnt Sienna and Payne's Grey and I'm just going to darken one side like so. And I'm also going to use the same colour um, to paint this um, part of the chimney as well. I'm just going to paint this a flat colour. Okay, now I'm going to wash my brush off, tap it on a tissue to make it slightly less wet and then just blend in that edge there. So down this side, because this is the side that's shaded, I'm going to paint a wash of watery Payne's grey over it as well. I'll take that wash over this bit again because I'd like that to be a wee bit darker. So we're going to go in with a darker uh, Payne's Grey, a darker wash of Payne's Grey and just paint in a shadow underneath that lip there. Shadows are a fantastic way to show depth um, in your painting. So I'm just going to darken the very side of the chimney pots as well. And there we have a very simple chimney with lovely simple bricks. So I'll draw out another chimney now and we will try a different brick technique. Um, this time I think we'll make it out of stone like so. So bigger stones than the other chimney. So this time round I'm going to paint these bricks in different shades. Um, they're not regular um, bricks all with a regular colour. They're all going to have different, uh, different colours to them and, and a bit of texture. So I'm not fully painting them, I'm just roughly painting them. You can see I'm leaving gaps, I'm leaving spaces that are still, um, you can still see the white of the paper underneath, just blotching the colour onto them. Now I can go back in and add um, more colours while um, while the paint's still wet or while it's half dry, it doesn't really matter because the more texture we get on these stones the better. 
So I'm just doing the same, just blotching the colour over them. I think I'll go and add a little bit of a blue colour in there. Go to different areas. And finally, I think I'll add a little bit of um, raw sienna to some of them. So you can see it's really just random colours, random blotches. Um, I'm going to paint the top of this chimney in, the, uh, the top lip here in a raw sienna. That's very yellow, so I'll probably go over that with a more neutral colour once it's dry. But I quite like that, so I'm going to go and paint one side of the chimney pots in that as well. Actually, I'll just take it all the way across and then we'll paint a different colour uh, for the shadow side of the chimney pots. So for this chimney, we're going to give it dark grout. So I'm just going to... Ah, I wasn't patient enough. It's gone up into the lip of the, the chimney. However, I'll carry on. Um, so we're going to give it dark grout. So we're just going in with um, that um, Da Vinci brush I showed you earlier. This is a very small size. I think it's 0 0.2... And so we're just painting around all these grout areas. Okay, so I'm going to darken the chimney pots on the side. This is a, a mix of raw sienna and burnt sienna. And I'll do my wash the water off and just blend the edge. So if you look at this chimney, you can see it looks quite flat. Um, this this is a different side from this side, so they should be slightly different colours really because light hits every every angle differently. So I'm going to darken this side now. I'm just going to mix a watery wash of burnt sienna and Payne's grey and paint it over the whole side. Again, I'm going to put it on top of this set, uh, room as well. There we go. You can see how immediately that gives a bit of um, 3D to the chimney. And I'm going to darken even further the chimney pots at the side. Okay, so there we have another chimney pot. This one made out of stone. Right, another... Um, type of brick that we can do is the following. Now this time round I'm going to use a white pen, a white uh, jelly pen. But I think I'll vary the colour throughout the chimney. So a mix of burnt sienna and um, Payne's grey. And if I just start I'll put some there and add a bit more burnt sienna into this bit here, add a wee bit down there, then I'll grab some Payne's Grey. So we're just blending the colours together but making it vary across the chimney. So this is wet and wet. You're just um, you're just blending the colours into each other while they're wet. A bit more burnt sienna down the bottom here. Okay. 
Okay. Now, at this stage, I'll just add in a bit of colour to the chimney pots. I'm not really focusing on the chimney pots. It's really the, the, the different um, ways of painting the bricks on the actual chimney that I'm focusing on. But for completeness, let's just get that painted. So what can happen when you're painting wet and wet is if the colour is drying at a different rate, that colour up here is much more dry than the colour down here when I added more water and more colour. Um, so you've got this edge here, these are called blooms, um, and sometimes you really don't want them, but sometimes you do. I mean, certainly when you're looking for texture or you're painting something that's very natural um, or irregular, these blooms can be can be great to add texture to what you're doing. I mean, I could force one by just adding a bit of colour. Now, you know, the paint has started to dry in some places, so adding a bit more colour and it will force a bloom there because they've got it's got a different wetness um, to the already existing paint. So I've waited for this paint to dry and I've got I've got a jelly pen and I'm just going to draw the grout lines on top. Now if the chimney was darker you would see these grout lines um more clearly. Okay, and then we'll go down like that. Okay, can you see that? So to give us the dark side, actually I'll just wait one minute um, for the jelly pen to dry and then to give us the dark side, um, I'll go and darken that side of the chimney. Okay, like so, I can darken it even further. Um, it depends just if you want subtle shading or uh, a wee bit more contrast. But there's a wee bit more contrast for you. Now let's just go up and add a wee bit of darkness to the chimney pots as well. Um, I'll add a wee bit of burnt sienna in there. Right at the edge. And if the paint is still wet, I'll just blend it. Well, whether it's wet or not, I can still blend it. Put that over a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to give it quite a dark rim as well. Once it's dried, I'll darken this side of that bit even further. So let's go in and darken this bit now. I help to give it the 3D look that we like. There we go. We could even darken this side, darken this side a little bit further as well. And because we've made it so dark, let's make this side of the chimney pot even darker. So I forgot to darken the underneath the lip here on this chimney. So let's just paint that in. And we'll do the same over on this one. So it's just a shadow, a line of shadow underneath the rim. Okay, so there we have three little chimneys, um, all painted in a different style and different technique to show different bricks. Okay, I, I hope you find this useful. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.